Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope your finances are doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much Scorpio for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Scorpio for being here. Oopsie. If you would like to further connect with me Scorpio, please do click the bell and click the subscribe button. This is for the Scorpio sign, please. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? So we'll look at your situation. We'll look at your focus. And then the second uh, part of the reading. Let's see what is coming towards you. What is the guided message uh, for Scorpio in love, career, money, and general situationship? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign, please? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, click the bell. Click subscribe. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know, Scorpio? You have the Queen of Wands. You have the Queen of Wands, you have the King of Cups, and you have the Queen of Cups. Wow, the King and the Queen. It's in the house. Okay, all right, Scorpio. Let's start your reading, Scorpio. So you're starting the reading, Scorpio, with the... You have the full card. The, the full card, Scorpio. You're starting the reading with the full energy, and the full card is facing the six of cups and you have the nine of pentacles in here scorpio i feel like in the next 24 hours or two to three days from now scorpio somehow you are being reminded to put your values into action okay because the six of cups it reminds you of you know family friendship values traditional respectful virtues in here with the six of cups yes the star card is here the knight of pentacles is here <coughs> and the temperance card um i feel like in terms of overall energy whatever you're going through okay um whatever situation you're going through or whatever goal or project or Whatever situation you are connected, whatever your priority is. Somehow, the star card is very spiritual. Okay, I like the star card. The knight of pentacles is very material. Spiritual, material, emotional. So somehow, with, you know, with, you know, the, the world that we live in, you know, the world that we live in, it's very fast. Like, I mean, in the next couple of days, it's going to be the month of May. You know, we you've, we've completed already, you know, the we've completed what? We've completed almost half of, your, you know, of 2024. So the world that we live in, Scorpio, it's very fast forward with technology, gadget, and emerging, emerging topics, trending. Sometimes it's too fast that we forget to be spiritual we forget to be practical or we forget about how we've come this far and you know what are those virtue traditional uh, values that we learned or we had as a kid growing up to your age right now scorpio so the full card somehow it's telling you scorpio don't risk it okay don't risk to lose your values your self-respect your self-love something to do with emotional practical spiritual you've got some values that you have acquired over a certain discipline in practically emotionally mentally spiritually so 
don't risk it okay um it's also giving me a sense of it's also making me feel scorpio of don't forget to be grateful or to be humble because the nine of pentacles in here if you look at the nine of pentacles she's very powerful okay i always i always connect to the nine of pentacles as very powerful very independent you know very independent very powerful very self-sufficient and somehow with your overall energy uh, it's reminding you to be grounded to be humble to be grounded to look back how you start to look into to respect tradition to respect values to respect elderly to, res to have so much respect to the world and do not risk to lose your values okay don't put your values into action because i feel like there's something connected to income connected to career connected to ethics connected to final fi financial opportunity um there's something coming okay like right now the universe telling you just stay grounded stay humble put your values into action you know patience is a virtue as well so i'm, I'm kind of i'm hearing the word virtual so i don't know what it means maybe being virtuous, uh, but it's giving me a sense of feeling that in this busy life and in this e emerging life, you know, when life is so tough and busy and also grateful and great, you know, don't forget to put values into action and very grounded, something is coming, okay? Especially have a three of wands in here. It's giving me it's giving me a vibe that something something is coming into fruition for you. Something in the background, Scorpio, is materializing. It's building up for you. And it's something that you would be needing a lot of values to make it work. It would be needing a lot of your um, a lot of grounding energy to make the, th the situation work in order for it to materialize, okay? Because the temperance card and the two of wands, something is coming up. I'm channeling end of April through towards the month of May to June. So something up, some something is building up in the background and it's going to, something big is building up, is coming up soon and it's connected to, it's a good one, okay? It's a good one, but it's going to challenge the way it's gonna the way it's gonna come into your life the way it's going to the way it's gonna connect with you or come into your life or the way it's gonna join you you know whether it's a person a project a situation the way it's gonna join you or connect with you scorpio is it's somehow going to challenge your character that you might be needing to change your character to accommodate this situation person blessings project okay and the way it's changing you or challenging you it's for the better so it's going to challenge your dark character scorpio the knight of swords in here okay you know the knight of swords so there is a situation a person that is building up and it's going to challenge your virtue your patience your character okay i'm not saying you're a bad person but you would have it if you act with values or if you apply a lot of patience and values and virtues you will have the situation you will have this person you will have this moment okay it's something you wish for because you've got the star card in here you had a queen of pentacles in here the universe, okay, the universe is ready to grant your wish. The universe is, the universe is sending you somebody, someone, a great experience, a great offer, a great blessings. You could be a mom for some of you, but there's a big ace of pentacles in here that is building up. It's forming a bond it's going to form a bond to you. Um, there's a bit of a conflict. You know, there's a bit of a conflict with the Knight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. 
Wow, the Two of Cups. You will love this person, okay? You will, you know, you will love. You, you're going to fall in love or you will, I mean, before it even happened, you're, you're already manifesting the situation is to have a Two of Cups, you know? Maybe it could be, it's different from each one of you because this is a collective reading and a lot of you will be watching it and channeling into this video. But something is building up in the background and you will accept it, you will agree to it, you're going to fall in love with it. But like any other offer, it comes with a change or a shift. And in order for you to completely make it work or completely install it or own it, or officially have it in your life to make it work is you've got to let go of some of your shadow of some of you know the knight of swords and this the knight of swords six of swords like you've got to let go some of your shadow some of your some some of your some of your characters some of your character as a person or personality some of your personality trait or character you've got to bend those dark character like those personal traits that's not that's not good okay because we're not we're not perfect you know we're not perfect scorpio so there's something in here that your intuition is telling you well if you're going to have this person or if you're going to have this project or if you're going to have this baby you know like you have to be you have to wake up in the morning early you you've, you've got to be tenacious you've got to be working twice you've got to be patient you know so the universe somehow is telling me that hey scorpio i'm gonna give you something you want this with like super spider-man with great power you know with great offer with great offers comes a responsibility and that responsibility will challenge your character or it would shift you to drop this personal trait that's not helpful to make this relationship or could be offer could be business whatever this one is scorpio it's you've got to drop this attitude or you've got to drop this i don't know communication style or you've got to really shift your character or you've got to put your values into action if you take this or if you have it because the success the success of this is depending on you scorpio okay you have the queen of wands so it's going to be an absolute pleasure to have this person to have this in your life is feeling like a queen of wands feeling successful feeling powerful feeling proud that you got this far and you got it you know it's a success to have this person or situation whatever this one is within the next three four six eight weeks it's it's here so the universe is telling you we're going to promise you that we're going to deliver this but you've got to take care of it and one of the ways to maintain it the care of it or to accommodate in your life is to put a lot of values in action it's it's going to challenge a bit of your character a bit of your ways of living um maybe you really have to be patient for some of you guys with the queen of wands oh wow scorpio you know it's giving me a vibe scorpio that whatever is coming towards you as early as now as early as now whatever is coming towards you you've got to sap you you've got to sacrifice some or change some part of you that is not helpful for you to get this offer or maybe person or situation you know for example the universe will the universe will grant you a baby if you want a baby well you have to change your 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 values your priorities because having a baby is like you know there's another human being but it's going to you know you, you're gonna reach a certain level a certain you know um having a baby is like a fulfillment as a woman you know as a parent and it's going to take you to a whole new happiness a different kind of happiness you know so there's some sacrificial stuff that you kind of need to do because i'm kind of picking up that 
you might you might not be open or flexible. So the universe is telling you right now, you know that it's a one of a kind. And the reason why I'm saying it's a one of a kind because there's a king and a queen in here. You know, there's a king and a queen in here, Scorpio. So this is a perfect match. This is a perfect offer. And in order for you to keep it and, you know, making it work, keeping it in you, making it work is to do not forget the traditional, the values, the character, you know, it won't be a battlefield, Scorpio. You know, this relationship, this love won't be a battlefield. This love won't be difficult. But there's a little bit of adjustment that you might need to do and you've got to be you've got to be willing to put that in action okay it's like a hmm it's giving me a vibe that you've got to take care of this whoever this person situation project baby baby in a metaphor like whatever this one is you've got to take care of it because it's one of a kind it's and it's one of those you know it's one of those prayers or manifestation it, it's coming for you because I don't want you to miss the opportunity, Scorpio. It's a perfect partnership. It's a perfect offer. It's it's very mature, Scorpio. So it's one thing you do accommodate it with lots of with lots of values, something like that. Or you could be getting married. I don't know who's this, but <laughs> it's quite spiritual. It's quite soul. It's quite it's quite you. It's something that will complete your soul or it's going to make your it's something that would complete your soul it's something that would would make your soul very happy and such a core deep level Scorpio yeah so don't forget your values don't forget your patience don't forget your maturity lots of maturity in here let's see I'm, I'm not getting a specific one but all I can say is there's an offer and once this once this offer, this offer is great. It's it's great. It's gonna make you happy. It's gonna make you wealthy. It's also requiring you to be disciplined. Something like that. Yeah, the nine of wands. Yeah. You have to be. Yeah. Don't give up, Scorpio. Something tells me, like the universe is gonna give you. The universe is going to give you something so special, but it comes with a responsibility to maintain it, to keep it. Nine of Wands, it will challenge your schedule. It will shift your perspective. You would have to change your mindset for it to work out, but you can. The universe wouldn't give it to you if you cannot accommodate it, so don't just quit, Scorpio. It's a one through offer. It's a one through love. It's it's it it comes in a package scorpio the queen and the king okay wow scorpio whoever this person is or situation is it's worth fighting for it's worth changing for it's worth it's worth it so don't just give up okay this is not something big is gonna come into fruition between May and June it's gonna challenge you to adjust to be flexible like once you connect, connect with your soul you would take a slow but meaningful action or approach to it like you would take a slow but meaningful reaction when you're being challenged by the situation you know it's, for example because this is a this is a king and a queen so it could be a relationship so if in the past you just break up oh i don't like you let's break up you w you would be different because this is special you will take slow but meaningful action you won't be impulsive you will be passionate but you won't be impulsive basically scorpio whatever this one is it's your schedule to experience this now in this lifetime it's scheduled to take place to come into your life okay put your values in action and take a slow but meaningful when you decide 
especially if you're going through some challenges or adjustment let's put it that way okay but it's yours scorpio you now you have it basically you, now you have it now you have what you wish for okay thank you scorpio this is your reading thank you so much for your support thank you so much for being here and if you would like to further connect with me scorpio click the bell and click the subscribe button i'll see you soon you have a great day